adventurers! It's December right now and we're having a lot of fun doing our holiday activities. And so we're going to kind of do a little mini road trip today. We're going to go out to Stanwood, Washington because there's this really big thing called the Lights of Christmas, which is fairly popular here in Washington. We've never been yet. I'm kind of excited to check it out. Uh, tell them what it's about. We actually heard about it last year but didn't get to make it. So this year we looked it up. It's 15 acres in Stanwood and there's supposed to be over a million lights yeah. and apparently it's broken up into sections where you may have a section that's all Santa Claus and a section that's something else. We don't know yet. We're going. Yeah. We're excited about it. Um, it's outdoors, but they do have three stages, I think. So there'll be some yeah. musicians performing. There'll be some cafes that you can get hot chocolate. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, I to. think that some of the vendors are indoors and then like the lights and everything are outdoors. So we're looking forward to it because everybody talks about it and we just couldn't make it last year. We couldn't bring our dog, our new dog. We were kind of bummed about that because it's mostly outdoors, but you know, it makes sense. There's a lot of people there. And hopefully if you guys ever get over to Stanwood in the December yeah. frame, you'll be able to go to it also. And it is kind of fun to go on a road trip to get to some lights, see some Christmas lights, maybe drink a little bit of hot cocoa, walk around, it's enjoy about the an time. hour drive for us. Yeah. So this is an adventure because it isn't like just in our neighborhood. We have to drive to get there. We're excited. Yeah. And since we're going down there, we're actually going to make a little stop beforehand. There's a store called Cost Plus World Market, and I've always been a huge fan, and I'm actually a huge fan during the Christmas time. It's one of those stores that I do a lot of my Christmas shopping at, and unfortunately, since we've moved to Bellingham, there aren't any nearby, so we're going to head there first. The reason I like Cost Plus World Market, and this is sort of a pseudo-travel tip, is because it's an international store where they bring a lot of stuff that's imported from other countries. Yeah. And it's a lot of fun because they've got different types of foods and sweets. Right now they've got a lot of holiday stuff. Wines and beers from all over the world. And then a lot of furniture and... A little bit of clothing. Yeah, like different things from different countries. They've always got tons of good wrapping paper here too. Look how cute the normal is. And the slots. I think I'm going to get these as a gift for one of my friends. It's kind of a fun idea for a family to be able to put their own gingerbread house together. I'm so happy. And it's really cool because if you can't make it on vacation this time of the year or other parts of the year, what you can do is go to Cost Plus or another international market in your area if you don't have a Cost Plus. Buy some things from a different place. Buy some things from a place you miss, you haven't been to in a while. I really love uh, Dunnox Tea Cakes from Scotland and Cost Plus has those. They're out of my tea cakes. They have the snowballs, but I'd like, oh, there they are. These are the best. Okay, so this is what it looks like in the center. It's got a large piece of marshmallow, a really soft tea cake. It's like a biscuit cookie on the bottom, and then it's covered in chocolate. And it doesn't look like it'd be that spectacular, but it really is. So it's kind of fun to go get a treat <laughs> for something that you don't get very often. It's our mini trip to Europe without going to Europe. Yeah, and they represent other places besides Europe. <laughs> Yay, I can't wait. So we just, finished shopping at Cost Plus and I've got to say they have really good deals like on gift wrap materials and uh, stocking stuffers are the best things to get here so it's a great place to come and get international foods and other little trinkets and stuff from other places to make you feel like you've been on vacation when you haven't been but it's also a good place for gift giving I love gift giving from Cost Plus so oh and also if um, you forget to get a souvenir from wherever you went this might be a good place to pick something up for a friend or family Remember, that's probably a bad tip. Okay, here's the entrance. Looks like we got a little ticket booth, and then already I'm starting to see a whole bunch of pretty, pretty lights. Okay, so we are at the Tin Horn entrance, and we're gonna check out Tin Horn Town first, and we're gonna get food because we're starving. It is free parking. Oh yeah, parking is free, which is great. And there's a ton of it. So we're gonna check out this Caribbean 
in Belizean cuisine, they've got the adobo shrimp burrito and the steak quesadillas. I think it's kind of what we're feeling like tonight. So let's see what they got. This is crispy and nice. Mm. And a steak quesadilla. <laughs> so if you like steak and shrimp, this is like, this is incredible. We love this food. <laughs> the tortillas are excellent. They're, they're made just right and the food is just so scrumptious. We're trying to slow down and it's impossible. <laughs> yeah. We're eating really fast. Way too fast. <laughs> yeah. So I've got to say, I'm very rarely surprised when it comes to food, especially like at a festival, but holy cow, that Caribbean cuisine was amazing. Oh I mean, like really so shocked me, like surprised me. That's not normal for me. So yeah, hopefully that place actually has like a storefront or something because I'd like to go there at some point. Caribbean cuisine and it was fabulous. They have their own hot sauce. Yeah, and it was fun in that room there applying the, the uh, bluegrass. bluegrass. And there was a girl that was like 13 years old singing, which was really kind of cute. She was great. So now we're outside and we're walking around looking at the lights. room they have like a storyteller that comes in and tells stories sits in that chair it looks like and then people can gather around and listen to the stories how cute is that and then you've got this giant curtain of lights some poinsettias Christmas trees oh I love all these aren't the Christmas trees gorgeous and these aren't even real trees over here these are just yeah fake trees Look at all the poinsettias. The poinsettias are beautiful. I happen to love poinsettias at Christmas time. One of my favorite Christmas flowers. Actually, I think poinsettias are my favorite Christmas flowers. So if you get cold, right over there is a warming fire. So if you're wandering around and you're getting kind of chilly, you can stand next to the warming fire and heat up. So this is the toy shop where you can go in and you can build like a spinner and then they make wooden puzzles and stuff. representation of Washington, don't you think? I think it's gorgeous. Our mountains are green. So beautiful. Angels we have heard on high, sweetly singing o'er the satisfy my desire for spice nuts. I love nuts. <laughs> okay, so this is like another store. Joyland. You feel immense joy when you come oh, here. Oh, look cute. Oh, cute. He's happy.
So we've got to admit, there is definitely a nice thing about coming on a Sunday night. There's not too many people here. He was saying on Friday nights and Saturday nights, sometimes they get, what, eight to 9,000 people? And they can't even park that many. Yeah, so I think we made a good choice for Sunday night. But then that means we'll be getting home late, so I mean, I guess it's a bit of a trade-off. <laughs> and you really get to see everything and you're not fighting crowds. So we're not getting on the train this time, but we do love trains. It would have been fun to be able to go on that. Okay, so we had a really good time at Lights of Christmas. What do you think, Mom? It's so beautiful. I want to come back. Yeah, and I want to taste more food. Yeah, we, we did get it. We got to try just the Caribbean cuisine, and that place was amazing. But what I really liked was all the music. There was so many different like performers groups performing, and it was gorgeous. And then, of course, all the lights were so beautiful. The amount of effort they put into creating this place. It was, was incredible. gorgeous. Yes, I would come back in a heartbeat. It'd be fun to bring kids. They, yeah. We just went by the petting zoo and the goats were attacking somebody that was trying to feed the rabbits. They go, oh, I want rabbit food. They weren't attacking anybody. <laughs> <laughs> I like to believe that. Yes. <laughs> and we didn't get to go on the train. We'd like to do that next time. Yeah. So there's definitely uh, another trip. We're going to have to come back here again at some point. It's really lovely and I can't wait to see how, they, how it changes each year as well. They keep adding. Yeah. How much probably. bigger can it be? Luckily, we didn't have to walk around 15 acres. They have it nice and compact. We were able to visit each section, and my feet are still attached. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for joining us on our little holiday adventure. We are enjoying this time of the year a lot, especially this year. We're just having a lot of fun. If you like this video, click the like button and subscribe right now so you can see more holiday adventures while traveling or uh, just travel adventures in general, and click the notification bell so you know the next time we have a video. Thank Happy you so much. Happy holidays. Bye.